Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, Starkle here. Guys, update 3.8 is finally live and uh, for our first video, what we're going to do guys, we're going to do a full character review for the new character, Shuri. Why did I pick Shuri first? Guys, it's pretty obvious. She is going to be a meta support for Alliance Battle Extreme Speed Day, so she was the most important character to get up with the update release. So let's take a quick look at our Shuri, the way we build her, uh, how we're going to play her. Uh, first, the team up we're going to use when we play her uh, today, guys, uh, in all game mode except, uh, uh, I don't know, except maybe wall bus invasion because we're going to go with something with more damage. But for the rest, for story mode, the wall bus. Uh, we're going to use uh, this team, so Sh Shuri lead with Black Panther and Storm. This is the only good team up you have for her, as you can see here. Uh, it's only team up that gives you more than one bonus, basically. More than two bonus, sorry. So we're going to get all attack, attack speed, max HP, physical attack, all defense, critical damage, and crowd control time as bonus. Uh, and one other. Uh, bonus activated which is going to be all defense and movement speed so this is the optimal team up for her and there's no really optimal leadership uh, for the optimal leadership will actually be black panther leadership for the critical rate increase by 15 percent but i uh, don't really care about that since i want her to uh you know i don't want to have to tag her in when i run a story mode so we're going to put her as a lead and see how she does. Uh, so let's take a quick look at my build on her now to see uh, what we are going to be running with. Um, first of all guys, I do have the uniform for her, but for this video, uh, since I want to make two different videos for the uniform and the regular character, uh, this video is going to be without the uniform. And uh, in a couple of days, probably, I will be doing a full uniform review for her. As you all know, guys, to make her, uh, to maximize her for our tier 2 leadership, well, tier 2 passive, I mean, uh, for our Lance Palo Extreme support, uh, you do need the uniform, obviously. But I want to see how she does without the uniform, too, for people who cannot afford the uniform, obviously. So here the stats we are going to be running with guys, 50% reduce uh, cooldown duration, so max skill cooldown, 49.41% uh, in more defense, basically cap, 30% in more dodge, 192% critical damage, 33% critical rate, and max attack speed. So those are the stats we are going to be running with. No hero, so nothing special special about her like you can see here the fourth gear we set uh, skill to the skill cooldown because we were around 46 percent without skill cooldown on the fourth gear uh, skills are max uh, we're going to come back to skill in a minute first i want to go through the easel set and custom gear easel set um i was actually lucky power the angry Oak was the first eight uh, slot easel set that i was able to roll so that's what we are going to be going with. Full six stars uh, easel everywhere. So we get 8.5% uh, all attack, 7.7% attack speed, 8.5% all defense, 8.5% critical rate, and 8.1% in your defense. Plus, we get uh, a plus on it that it gives us 20% increase of all attack for 20 seconds with the 60 second cooldown. No, you, no easel are awakened, so uh, we get the only 20% increase of all attack. So this is a very good easel set for her. I think that better easel set for her will uh, be overdrive because she does not really need the attack speed since uh, one of her skills can give her all, all speed. Uh, but that's what I got. Didn't want to spend more than I had to actually spend. Uh, the uh, custom gear we're going to be using on her, since she's 
I don't expect her to actually be the damage dealer in Alliance Battle Extreme unless I'm mistaken and they actually made her a new meta which I don't think it's going to be happening since we just got Luna Slow at new meta for Speed Day. Well, I went with the uh, hybrid uh, custom gear. I went with critical damage for extra uh, damage, and I went with invincible invincibles on her, so she can be more useful in allying conquest. Like I like to create, like I like to optimize my character. I, li I always like to optimize them to make to be useful in. All game mode, Alan Conquest, Wall Boss, all those game mode included. So we went a little bit hybrid with our uh, a custom gear. Now for our skills. But first, we're going to go through the passive leadership, then we're going to take a look at our uh, regular skills. First, we have the tier 2 passive. Tier 2 passive is Panther God's Protection. Apply to all allies, decrease the damage received from super violent type characters by 25% and increase damage dealt to super violent characters by 35%. That is the skills that make her a meta support for Alliance Battle Extreme. And if you have the uniform on her, while well, the damage uh, reduction become 35% and the increased damage buff become 45% percent basically the same damage buff as uh, Valkyrie tier 2 and Coulson tier 2 gives to your team except she is blast so now we have that buff available for combat blast uh, and speed she's a speed sorry guys so she is a speed character so that is our tier 2 passive one of the most uh, usable the most viable tier 2 passive in the game uh, if we take a look at our next passive, tier 1 passive, uh, Genius Princess apply to self in your target dodge rate by 30%. So, a basic 30% in your target, in your dodge, which is very useful in our leadership as we saw earlier. Uh, Jalia enhancements apply to all allies, increase all speed by 6%. Now, if we look at our regular skills, you have the first skills, Panther Foray. Um, basically, it's physical damage and other physical damage. And um, soon we're going to see her in action and we're going to see if there's actual iframe or anything to it. Uh, second skill, it's a two second stun with a four second cooldown. Guys, I have max skill cooldown, so all the cooldown time are reduced by 50%. Uh, so, instead of being eight seconds it's become four seconds so if two seconds stuns with a four seconds cooldown this is going to be really useful in shadowland and uh, the third skills we have the buff skill uh, petrification applied to self increase all attack by 15 percent all defense by 15 percent all speed by 15 percent decrease all damage received by 70 percent which is crazy crazy defensive buff uh, some physical damage and additional physical damage with a cooldown time of 7 seconds. Uh, the decrease all damage buff uh, lasts 5 seconds, so 5 of the 7 seconds that the skill is going to be on cooldown, you're going to be receiving 70% uh, less damage. Then next we have the 4th skill. 4th skill is Bleed Attack. Flock of Crows applied to enemies deal 20% bleed damage every one second for three seconds then some physical damage and additional physical damage again in a cooldown time at of eight seconds and you have the fifth skills the last skills uh, apply, uh, giant crow form apply to enemy stuns for three seconds then you have the best part of the skill apply to self 100% chance for immunity to all damage for five seconds some physical damage and additional physical damage again. Uh, cooldown is 8 seconds. So you get above that last 5 seconds that receive, reduce our uh, damage received by 70%. Then you have above that uh, reduce all that Im that make her immune to all damage that last 5 seconds with 8 second cooldown. So she gets a lot of uh, defensive abilities. Now the, the thing that we, we are asking ourselves about is 
can she actually be useful can she has a good damage output well that's the part that we're going to be uh, testing next guys we're going to look at some gameplay again it's without the uniform we're going to go like i always do mission 12 1 on autoplay see how she does on ai play after that we're going to go kill a wall boss with her and we're going to test how much damage output she does in wall boss invasion uh, so basically that's what we are going to do next with her and then at the end guys we're going to do a little recap and um, say what we think of her globally and in what game mode we think she can be actually useful so let's get started with story mission 12 1 here there we go so that's the team like i said earlier we're going to go with uh, shuri black panther and storm two together so let's get this rolling the best part of the game guys loading screen <laughs> so like i said we're going to go just on autoplay to see how she actually performed here. and see the damage output and um, the defensive uh, that she has to So she seems to have some a decent iframe, a really good iframe actually, uh, with a lot of defensive abilities, but her damage output still seems to be a little tad slow in my opinion. Uh, the objective here guys to clear 12-1, uh, and how fast to clear 12-1 will be to clear it uh, below 1 minute 45 to be an average character in a damage chopper. so that is the objective we have and we're going to see how it goes we're already up to the bus so she's doing fine so far now we got to see how she's going to handle uh, beating that annoying bus uh, she has a big advantage is that she has a passive that gives her 30% in your damage so in chapter 12 uh, it's really important to add that in your dodge and that really helps her. You can see a lot of iframe here guys. I think that uh, the iframe with the, uh, the buff that reduce her damage taken by 70% and her buff that give her immune to all damage make her very 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 strong especially for when she's going to uh, enter a lion conquest in my opinion. But her damage output seems a bit low, at least without the uniform. Obviously, in a couple of days, we're going to do all that again, guys. But with the uniform, and we're going to be able to see what the difference is in the damage output. And that's the sun, guys, that I set up when I get a new subscription. Sorry, you guys. Uh, <laughs> hear that when we are recording a video. So let's see now uh, how long it actually took to clear this thing. Oh, bonus rewards to Normstorn. Wow. So 1 minute 55. That's actually not bad considering that she's going to be getting much stronger with the uniform and she had basically no offensive leadership. So I'm pretty satisfied with what I've seen so far here. I'll consider her so far average damage output. Uh, so obviously, I don't believe that she's going to be becoming the meta attacker for Alliance Battle Extreme Speed Day. But like I said, she's already confirmed as a meta support character for Alliance Battle Extreme Speed Day. Next guys, we are going to go to kill a wall boss. Um, we're going to pick... Um, I'm kind of tempted to try Tannis Infinity here guys. So let's try this. Team bonus. Team bonus. We got a new character here. Give me that. Give me that. There we go. So we're going to go with that team, like we said, I said earlier. And uh, five strikers here. So the priority here, guys, is going to be using our defensive buff against Samus Infinity. Uh, it's not easy to actually survive. So we need to try to do everything we can to survive so using the fifth skills as opening then chaining with the third skill is going to be the priority here so 
So the second skills as I frame and uh, the damn the damage I put is actually pretty damn good without uh, uh, without offensive leadership. Second skills as I frame, the first skills as a small iframe, uh, fifth skills, four skills as bigger iframe and what I can see I think. Yeah, the 4th skill actually have a very long iframe, same thing with the 5th skills. There we go, and now in a minute, and we're already up to uh, phase 3. Let's die. She moved actually pretty fast, which is uh, really uh, good for her. And we're moving to phase 4, so she's doing very good. I don't think we haven't took any damage yet, so I'm pretty satisfied so far. Ah, we got fifth skill, high frame. Well, our high frame, we're able to cancel that, but we walk so fast that it's not even an issue here. So our uh, damage output is actually pretty strong when you manually play her. We clear a tennis infinity in one minute twenty three without any uh, offensive leadership, uh, which is very 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 fast in my opinion for characters that we know nothing about that we don't even know the skill rotation to be honest uh, i'm pretty satisfied with that right now so guys the last gameplay we're going to see today is wall boss invasion we're going to go try out how she does in wall boss invasion so there we go today is proxima clear the stage with more than four universal type hero we're not going to be uh, we're not going to try to uh, achieve that today uh, she's a physical attacker so we need to give her a physical leadership which is going to be with the fifth skills buff then her and we're going to add uh, actually Coulson to that since Coulson gives some critical uh, damage too so that is the full blown thing guys here and we're going to see how fast she can actually do the damage here. We're going to open with the fifth skills on the beast and go crazy with her little sexy Shuri. Hopefully people will have good connection and won't take forever to actually get the fight started. But now we're just waiting for other players like usually. I wish people had better connection. It's so annoying the waiting time, man. Or at least that marble server school match you with people with the same kind of connection than you. And that will be really amazing to do if they did that. But I guess we gotta deal with it. Hopefully the match will start and we're not going to get disconnected from the server. That's all I hope because we're in the video. There we go. Okay. And there it goes. So let's see how we did here. Well, we didn't win the damage. We were fighting a, a blue marvel, so it was kind of expected. But we still did uh, close to 100,000 damage per second, which is above average in my opinion for uh, for uh, a character so i think that her damage output is very strong not as strong as luna snow in my opinion but still very very strong i think that she's going to be a really amazing character for shadowland she has all the iframe the stunts the damage uh, reduction the immune to all damage buff so she is going to be a queen of the shadowland that's for sure a queen of the world bus too like seriously you saw you guys how i handle tennis infinity with her there is no doubt about her uh, capacity to destroy any world bus uh can she kill a world bus ultimate that's actually an interesting question that i will be trying in a few days when uh, we get to pick what world bus ultimate we want to try um other than that 
like we said earlier guys she is going to be a meta support for alliance battle extreme speed day that uh, we're going to be able to see damage difference tomorrow when it's speed day and farther than that guys but uh, she's going to be very useful in online conquest in my opinion lots of iframe a lot of uh, defensive and lots of offensive so that's going to make her very 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 useful for Alan Conquest. We saw it against Thanos Infinity. I didn't even take a single hit so that means that in Alan Conquest she is going to be very hard to hit too. So she's actually pretty much an all-around character. She's uh, she has a good uses. She's very useful. Sorry my English guys. Very useful for PvE game modes and very useful for PvP game modes. So uh, if I have to rate this character for how uh, awesome she seems and uh, how viable she's going to be, I will give her a uh, 8 on 10 uh, uh, note. So I really enjoyed this character. I highly recommend anybody to get this character and get the uniform, obviously because uh, that makes her tier 2 passive even stronger. So guys, let me know what you think of this character if you share the same opinion than me or not um, and don't forget to sub like and guys i'll see you tomorrow in another another video where we are going to be featuring a black panther new uniform thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video